dog. There's something in my tooth. So the first step in grooming your dog is to not if your dog needs to be groomed. <laughs> and we're also gonna brush their teeth today. To know if your dog needs to be groomed, you just sniff under the armpits. <sighs> it's time to plop her in here. So your dogs really like it if you sing to them um, while they're being bathed. It's calming, especially if you have a beautiful singing voice like I do. brushing your teeth. You have some rare dog toothpaste. Make sure it's dog toothpaste. Um, this dog toothpaste, I sometimes use it myself. Here we go. You just put this on your finger and then you just put the toothpaste like that. Okay, it's okay. Ugh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not so bad. Okay, so you may not know this, but the real professional groomers, no, no, where are you going? Don't go. So you may not know this, but the really professional groomers, like the top notch groomers, they get in the bathtub with the animal. It's the most effective way to bathe. Let's get to the shampooing. Okay, so you have to have some dog shampoo and conditioner. Um, luckily for me, this also works great on my hair. So we just share and uh, let's just get into it. You have to keep comforting them. Make sure to get it to a nice, like kind of a lukewarm temperature. That's our favorite temperature. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. My accent is coming out real strong right now. Don't so, stay. You have to be careful with their eyeballs. This dog in particular has some eye boogers, so we're gonna just go ahead and get those out. Huh, huh, huh. And they can be a little uh, gross for unprofessionals, but once you're a professional like me, it doesn't even bother you anymore. It's like a juicy beetle. Ugh. Like that. Now what you want to do is put in uh, shampoo on, your, on the, the, your dog. It's good. Make sure you give them a cool hairstyle like Ferris Bueller. Don't be afraid to get to be to get. Don't be afraid to get messy. You have to uh, make sure you get their paws because you know stepping in that dirty kitty litter all the time. Oh, we got a dingleberry alert! Dingleberry! Now our next step is to rinse. Make sure you keep telling your dog that they're beautiful because. Because dogs always feel they're most beautiful when they're wet like this, so you have to tell them, hey dog, you're still beautiful. Okay, finally we have to condition. Just like you do with your own hair, it's really self-explanatory, but you know, not everyone's as smart. And rinse. looking like a wet rat, they do return to normal. You have to make sure to keep them warm. It's like, imagine if you got out of the tub and there wasn't someone there to cuddle with you. You wouldn't like that feeling. And then you have to let them run free for a little while. Okay, don't be alarmed if they start acting like a crazy person. This is a normal procedure. This is just her way of shaking it up. Don't look directly into her butt, it looks pretty huge right now. Now you just wanna gently brush your dog. Oh. And then now we dry. She doesn't like this part, don't tell her it's coming. Make sure to keep it up cool. Whew. And now,
This week's channel goes to...